and I am now right here with the organizers of 6200 Geekon here in Dumaguete City. Please introduce yourself. Um, hi, my name is Karen. I am one of the uh, co-founders and um, organizers of 6200 Geekon and here is... Um, Hello, I'm Portia. I'm hi Karen, hi Portia. I'm Karen's uh, partner in this... <laughs> Your partners in crime yeah. and organizing yeah. this event. So, guys, my question is, what made you decide to be the first to kick off this hobby event? This was a banter between yes. like friends, and I guess since slowly from two years ago, it was the last con I went to was from Cebu, and then I believe like after today is like 2022, I believe it's okay to host small gatherings yes. since I've seen like uh, Manila already opening their gates for yeah. conventions and especially from Mindanao so I think it's about time we also open here in Visayas especially in our little city and town this is Dumaguete city I agree mm -hmm. how does it feel you know to see that there's a lot of con goers coming here in Anna? it was encouraging yeah. yet overwhelming <laughs> Overwhelming, really. Yeah. I... It's usually like from the past uh, years or so that I went to our local convention. It was like just a, a small community lang. It only was, in Dumaguete. Yeah, only in Dumaguete. <laughs> yes. It was like, it, we were, it can easily be counted lang. And it was like friends between friends or yeah. like a circle or something. Not, not like this. Yeah, like, not like this. That we yes, don't just imagine, no? Yeah, uh, we don't people know from Manila yeah. and Cebu are... In, Man in Mindanao. And Mindanao yeah. are actually oh. coming to your event. This yeah. was not planned. This was not planned. <laughs> <laughs> we, done, we did not plan for this. <laughs> But I agree, but I guess you agree with me uh, when I say that the reception of how they had your event is really overwhelming. It was really amazing that there are a lot of people who are, like you mentioned uh, last time in our discussion, was uh, con-starving. Yes, uh, con-starving. Yes, con-starving. <laughs> so convention starving. Yeah, we're, we're yes. hungry. <laughs> but with, with, that, you know, with that said, what are the challenges that you guys encountered so far? Um, getting sponsors? Yes, that's um, number one. Yeah, number one. Mm. And then um, trying to get a specific venue yeah. that can mm. hold like at least 200, 200 people or mm -hmm. something and accommodate them as much as possible. And getting enough staff or people to help out. And also, how about the guidelines that you guys have to follow? Oh, yes. Yeah. The we, from IATF. We have to follow certain protocols because of the pandemic and stuff so mm -hmm. we have to go through tourism yes go through we made a letter um, mm -hmm. wow. go through different um, departments of yeah. health <laughs> departments of health we follow <laughs> health protocols yeah the health protocols <laughs> Yeah, because what I observed when I entered on your event is that not only that you guys do temperature check and also provide hand sanitizers, to make sure that the hands are clean. Yeah. I also have observed that your ticket is digital. Yes. Can you tell me more about it? Um, so we decided to make this uh, as much as possible a very smooth transaction when mm -hmm. yes. doing tickets. Because, for example, if in case people who lose tickets, at least they have a digital one already. Yeah and hassle, hassle free of yeah. holding a ticket right yeah. we also have options for meetups if they prefer mm -hmm. okay but mostly we want them to be online and yeah. the barcode system is really tacky mm -hmm. yeah. that was really very amazing mm -hmm. and also speaking of transaction i also have uh, observed that all of the booth are going to have cashless option yeah. mm -hmm. uh, have cashless like using gcash so it's very very amazing because i'm for me, I'm the type of person who is kind of hesitant to give off my money or get the, also the change because it might be you know, coming from somewhere else. So having a cashless transaction like GCAS or Maya is something very uh, convenient and also safe and hassle-free. Yes. So the future is now. Yeah, right? the future yeah. is definitely <laughs> now. <laughs> um, also, with the success of this event, are we all going to look forward for another convention? Now that you said it, <laughs> yes. okay. um, of course, we're definitely going to do another convention for hopefully next year. It's because um, seeing, we have, seeing that there are a lot of people who enjoyed the convention now and there's a lot of people who unfortunately did not yeah. make it because we have to we have limited tickets yes. and we have to really follow uh, <laughs> we have to follow strict protocols 
the event that we're gonna have um, next year is a collaboration actually yes. with um, Comicet. So, Comicet? Yes, Comicet. Oh. So it's gonna be Comicet X6200 Geek. 6200 Geek on. Which will be in 2023, but we don't know which. No exact date. Uh, we don't have an exact date yet because we have to. Um, of course, uh, plan it out. We have again. to plan it out again Keep with. planning. Yes, <laughs> and this time with the people also handling Comicet. Yes. That's really nice. I mean, we are all gonna look forward to that event, especially knowing that artists uh, from all over the world are getting really recognized. But having Filipino artists like um, the artist from Trese, who's mm -hmm. from Luzon, yes. is uh, also gaining popularity. I think it's really high time for the Visayas and of also course. the Mindanao yes. artists get the spotlight that they deserve that's true mm -hmm. okay. all right so uh, how can we get in touch with you or how do we get connected with the social as of now we're gonna be creating a page after the this event yes. which is gonna be um the 6200 geek Con official. official page uh -huh. yeah basically facebook has more yeah. traffic yes uh, yeah we're also gonna try instagram if yeah, ever social. yeah that's basically the two show social medias wow. we're gonna uh, take okay well, thank you very much for yes, that, yes, uh, Carrot and Portia, for giving us your time. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the organizers of 6200 Gipan in the Magetan City.